Today, I will speak on what I've learned about the miracle of finding personal peace, whatever our circumstances. The Savior knows that all of Heavenly Father's children yearn for peace. And he said that he could give it to us. You remember the words of Jesus Christ, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The gift of peace is given after we have the faith to keep his commandments. The Holy Ghost will come and abide with us. The Lord says that as we continue to be faithful, the Holy Ghost will dwell in us. That is the promise in the sacramental prayer, that the Spirit will be our companion and that we would feel in our hearts and minds his comfort. Keeping the Lord's commandments requires more than obedience. We are to love God with all our heart, might, mind, and soul. Those who do not love him do not keep his commandments. And so they will not have the gift of peace in this life and in the world to come. It is clear that the Lord loves us enough to pay the price of our sins so that we can, through our faith in him and our repentance, through the effects of his atonement, have the gift of the peace that passeth all understanding in this life and with him eternally. Now, some of you, perhaps many, are not feeling the peace the Lord promised. You may have prayed for personal peace and spiritual comfort, yet you may feel that the heavens are silent to your pleading for peace. There is an enemy of your soul who does not want you and those you love to find peace. He cannot enjoy it. He works to prevent you from even wanting to find the peace the Savior and our Heavenly Father desire you to have. Satan's effort to sow hatred and contention all around us seem to be increasing. We see evidence of it happening among nations and cities, in neighborhoods, in electronic media, and all across the world. Yet there is reason for optimism. It is that the light of Christ is placed in every newborn child. With that universal gift comes a sense of what is right, a desire to love and be loved. I bear my sure witness, the Savior lives and he leads this, this church. The Savior's invitation to come to him is an offer of peace. President Russell M. Nelson is the living prophet of God and all the earth. He has said, I give you my assurance that regardless of the world's condition and your personal circumstances, you can face the future with optimism and joy.